the channel. Today I have a nice, easy, cheap DIY project that is not only just easy on your wallet, but it can fit inside it. This project is very flexible, but the main purpose of this video is showing you how to use this project to break into a computer's files. We're going to be completely bypassing the original operating system and password. And this is pretty simple. All we're going to be doing is turning this flash drive that's shaped as a credit card into a bootable tails drive. This tool can do a lot more than just look at the files of the computer. You can also use it because it has a lot of free privacy tools built into it. And it also can be used as a ghost drive if you wanted it to be. We're going to go over all of this in this video and show you how to build it. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any illegal activity. Don't do these tests on computers that you do not own or you do not have permission to test. First thing we're going to do is set the stage here. So I'm going to be creating a folder that says do not open. This is going to be our target folder on the computer. We're currently on Windows 11 and here is the special file. It's just my logo that says do not look at this. There is the image and now we have the target set. So now we're going to build the bootable drive. First thing we need to do is plug the drive into the computer. Now we need to go to the Tails website. Here is the website. This is what it looks like. I'll leave the link for this in the description. We're going to click on install tails. Click on download tails only for USB sticks. Then after you do that, you're going to scroll down to where it says download tails, whatever version it is. Currently at this time, it's uh, only 7.1. Once you click on that, it will download. Now that part is done. Now let's set up the drive. In this video, I'm using Rufus. This is something that I use on my channel quite a lot. I have dedicated videos showing how to install Rufus. It's not really that hard, but for this video, I'm just gonna go right to the point. So once you open up Rufus, gonna click on select like you just saw, click on the download, it shows in tails, and then you're gonna hit start and then hit OK. It's going to delete everything on the flash drive and start installing Tails. Once it's done, you can just restart the computer. When the computer turns on, you have to get into the boot options menu, which is probably one of your F keys. For me, it's F9, and then click on the USB stick. So after you do that, you should see something like this. Now, once you see the welcome Tails screen, you need to click on the plus sign here. Once you do that, you need to set an administration password. Right here, I'm just going to click on one, something super simple confirm it whatever your password is going to be me and we're just doing this for demonstration purposes i'm just gonna put one and one hit add and now i'm going to start tails next you're going to go to the files once you see this pop up scroll down to you see the volume and then you're going to put in that password that you created in the beginning for me it just hit the number one and then you're going to click on authenticate and then you're in as you see here there is the folder that we created for this demonstration purpose and there's the file don't look at this and we're going to open it up there you go. So now we have accessed this file without needing the Windows password. 